Hello everybody, so today I will talk about the hyperbolic equation. So I you about the real example, minus 6 x power 2 plus 5 y power 2 minus 24 x plus 40 y plus 26 equal to 0. So the question they ask, find the center, find the transverse and conjugate as the vertex, the force and uh, the, the equation of the asymptotes. <coughs> so, I will show you the technique how to do on the question in here. We have the minus 6 power 2 plus 5y power 2 minus 24s plus 40y plus 26 equal to 0. So now we put the S and Y in the one area. So we have 624. We put the minus 6 in here. We got about S power 2 and 4s in here. Similar this one, we have 5 and 40. We put number 5 outside. And we got y power 2 plus a y. <coughs> the next one, to put them to like this, a b power 2, we need to have the number in here. So we go about s power 2 plus 4y for s. We have s power 2. We know that is about 2 multiplied with 2s. So this is about 4. So that we go about a plus b power 2. Similar the y. We have a so that that's about 2 multiplied with 4. So the next number is about 16. Because we add the number, so that we need to minus the number. So minus 6 multiply with 4, you got about the minus 24. So that's why we need to add more 24. 5 multiply with 16, that's about 80. So that we need to minus 80 in here. Plus 26. So now we will have the number. Twenty four minus eighty plus twenty six. Let's see about minus thirty. Then you move the minus thirty on the right, you got about positive thirty. Later that we divide both sides with the thirty. Minus 6 divided to 30. You go about the minus 5 in here. Similar with number 5. 5 divided to 30. You go about 6. And this one become the number one. Now we have the s power two plus four s plus four. That's the about s plus two power two, and we divide by five. This one that we become y plus four power two divided by six equal to zero now we can see that that's it about 
hyperbolic equation and now we can find the center in this equation because that's about positive number 2 the center in here they will become the minus 2 and this is about 4 and this is about minus 4 in here or oh, this is 1 sorry now we can see that this is about y y is about positive but about s is about negative so that we can uh, figure out like this we have minus 2 and minus 4 so this is about they will stay in here We have y is about positive, so that the true hyperbola they will go to the y in here, just like in uh, the picture like this, because they see about positive, so that true curve they will be for the y. Now we find the transverse and conjugate. Transverse they will parallel to the horizontal, and uh, the conjugate as they will parallel to the vertical that's why we need to find the two line in here i just draw two to do assemble not to the real one So the transverse is about the this line. So this line is about y and this is about equal to minus 4 conjugate conjugate is about this line. So that's why s, s equal to minus 2. So that we just find the two s in here. The next one is about the vertex. So we have the center, minus 2 and minus 4. We will find about, we use about the b in here. And we have the center is about minus two. To find the uh, this vertex, we need to find the c, c power two equal to a power two, and uh, plus b power two. A power two is about number five. B power two is about number six. Five plus six is about eleven. So that we got about c equal to positive negative square root of 11. Now we have the vertex. We have the minus 4. So that we put about. That's about the 4c. So we need to put about minus 4. When we will plus about the b. b is about number 6. That's about square root of number 6. So this is about this one, and we have second vertex minus four, and we just minus square root of six. So that's about this one. So because they are the positive, that's why we use only b in here. Now, if they the question is about co vertices. We just do about minus 2 and minus 4 again. But now that's about the S in here. In here, 
we will find true ball in this one. We have the minus two, and we know a is a power two is power five, so that's why we plot the square root five. That's why in this ball and the minus square root of five. That's the about this ball in here. So that we just answer vertex and covertex. The next one we talk about the fossey. Because we follow to the y in here, so that we keep about the minus true of the s. So we write like this. We have minus 4 and minus 4 again form uh, the center. And we just calculate the c in here. So we put the positive 11. This is found the 4c on the top one. And the negative square root of 11. Let's see the 4c in this one. So that we just answer the 4c for you. And uh, the last question, that's equation of the asymptotes. So we will have in this formula. So we need to find this number and we need to figure out b divided by a or a divided by b so in this one you can see that we have 6 go to the s we have square root of 6 multiplied with the s in here equal to square root of 5 multiplied with the y in here because they move just like the ratio 6 square root of 6 multiplied with the s, square root of 5 multiplied with the y in here. And uh, because they ask about equation, so that we book about the y first. And we have the square root on, the, on the number 5, we divide to the num square root number 6. And you go about square root of 6 divide square root of 5. And we have the s in here. Now, we need to have the minus as we go with number 2 in here. So now, that's if I become the minus 2. And uh, the last one, we have the k is about number 4. Oh, that's the opposite to number 2. And we have number 4 in here. We put number 4 outside. Later that, we put about positive and negative. Because we have the two axis, they go through two ball in here. So, so we can find on the two, two equation of asymptotes because we have positive and negative. And uh, this one is about minus four. Sorry, that's in minus 4. So, this is the equation for you at the, ask, at the last question. So, this is the end. Thank you for watching.